Although my skin is pretty good, I need some extra coverage. So I'm going in with this Urban Decay Naked Foundation in the shade 2.0. Dotting that all over my face first. Then buffing that out with a buffing brush. The skin of my face is actually like two shades darker than the rest of my body. I don't know why it is though. So I'm using a lighter shade for my face. Priming my eyelids with an eyelid primer. This is my absolute favorite primer of all time, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I recently got this in the mail. It's a new blending brush by Real Techniques. I was sent this for review, so let's see how it performs. First, I'm testing this out with my orange eyeshadow from the Sleek Eye Divine Blah 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 palette. I'm not sure what it's really called, but first just buffing this into the outer corners of my eyes. I've noticed that right away it picks up a ton of product really well. Um, even better than my Morphe brushes, and I love my Morphe brushes so much. Also, it seems to really blend out the eyeshadows really well, so overall it's a pretty good brush. Now taking this pink shadow, Buff this on the outside of the orange. From there, we're going to have a little bit more fun. Take your brush and really smash it into your eye to make little blobs going outward from the orange. Imagine you're creating happy little clouds, like a Bob Ross. That's what I was thinking about when I did this. Now taking the purple, buff this in the center of your eyelids to the other um, side of the orange. You should still apply this in a very uh, blobbish manner. This will continue the uh, blob-like effect on your eye. It's supposed to imitate a watercolor splash on your eye. Then for the blue, I'm applying this in the inner corners of my eyes, connecting this to the purple. Again, you want to make it very blobbish, very abstract. And that is the basic shape of it. Now switching over to a smaller brush. This one is from Creolon. Using this, I'm adding more squiggles and dots all around the basic shape of this. So I'm adding little squiggles here and little dots and some in the inner corners as well. Now using this gel liner, which is crappy and dried out, and I really need Duraline for this. Really bad, but I'm using this to line my upper eyelids. First, lining the inner part of it, then doing a really small wing. Also lining my lower eyelids and waterline, buffing that out with a black shadow. Then applying falsies on top. This is the um, Grand Glamour Lashes by Allure. I've used these over 30 times and they're still pretty good, so it lasts a really long time. Now to actually make my lower lashes appear visible, I'm using this Deli Wink Mascara. To make my face look more perfect, like it could be any more perfect, you know, but using this thin concealer, I am Applying this underneath my eyes, down to my nose, and where else did I apply it? Let me see. Oh yeah, also my nose bridge, going up to my forehead. For some reason, here in Minnesota, it was like 70 degrees when I filmed this. Why? It's like March! It doesn't... No! My body couldn't deal. It was so hot in my room, so... I went in with this powder by Kat Von D, and set my concealed areas with it, otherwise it would like melt off. I'm using this brunette um, eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows don't really exist. Well, they exist, but they don't exist, exist. You know what I'm saying. Now I'm going back in with that pink shadow and adding more drips and dots going down my face. 
So right here, I am basically drawing a tear of pink down my face. Just drag the eyeshadow down and you will have your pink tears. I'm also adding more on top and on the bottom. Now because my lips look pretty sad right now, pretty sad and small, I need to make them bigger. So I'm using this Rimmel lip liner and aligning my top lip. And my bottom. Topping that off with a pinky um, nude. Nude for me at least, because I'm pale. Very pale. A pale pinkish lip. Plop that on, and you are finished. Hurrah! So that finishes this watercolor eye inspired makeup look. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I will see you in another video coming up in a few days. So yeah, I will see you later.